Welcome to Brent Replays With Himself, a Let's Play series where I go back and play the games I love because I love them. On this episode, I finish off the Riddler. All of his riddles are done, everything's completed, everything's great. Oh wait, I totally forgot to do the last uh, Arkham riddle thing with the guy. So, I missed that. Stay tuned for uh, an episode after the last episode, I guess. Uh, Galarian Meowth looks like a tutorial creature. My buddy said he was ugly as sin because of the beard. For obvious reasons, I took a fucking offense. Galarian Meowth with the beard looks glorious. Uh, Galarian Meowth confused the crap out of me. No, I'm not on sword yet. I'm curled up in bed playing Pokemon and watching you stream. As I've been telling Brent, Death Stranding has been my video game focus, so I haven't played much of my other games. Sorry, I'm tired, Brent. Listen. I don't judge people on their failures and faults. I judge them entirely on their inability to care about me. The fact that you're in bed, by the way. I mean, I was going to drunkenly text you. So I guess that's not happening anymore. God. My goal. Good goal. Remember when we were together? R Should you be savoring Sortho? You own shield. I'm not gonna lie, Riddler. You, uh... You did a decent job of it. I'm not going to lie. You did a good job. Unfortunately, though, you're also a complete nutter, too. And I wish you'd die a horrible death. What's going on here? Oh, I'm in the wrong area. Watch. Riddler. Yeah. Nothing here. Okay. I'm a fool! I'm a took. I know you have both Pokemon games. That's why I'm saying, why would you savor one when you still have to f go through the exact fucking same one just with slightly different Pokemon. I need that shield Pokemon. Can you... Can you? Is it... Oh, this is a good question. Can you... put your... legendary Pokemon... into... um... The daycare and get an egg? So, like, I would be able to have both Lu the sword one, Zeus, Zeus, Zeusian, Zeus. Anyway, can you do that? Can you hatch the legendaries? <gasps> Blitz Girl, I appreciate your answer. It is not the answer I wanted. So my answer to you is... Fuck you, Blitz Girl. Okay. I need to borrow a sword. Alright. I have sword! I need to borrow shield. Damn it! I'll play shield. Then I'll trade to you my shield. Then you trade... Ugh. This is too complicated. No a fan. No a fan. This is like a awful secrets episode of uh, Batman. Just solving secrets. You're welcome. Ah, Jesus. It's 
right here the whole time. You could have said something. Your feet is behind the chat. What are you talking about? There's a leg. Also, I'm busy. I'm reading as I can. Good view. Solid viewers. This is great. FYI, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I really. This means a lot to me. I don't do this for the views, and. Like, as much as it would be awesome if I became, like, a professional streamer or something, I. I do this because I, th I think I'm funny. I've been told I am. But I I want you guys to know. I, I appreciate you guys tuning in. It's the first day of 2020. I had a great first day, by the way. I uh, woke, woke up very happy. Had a... A lovely morning with you know I I care about deeply uh, that was weird that ladder came down um, excellent morning uh, turn into an excellent afternoon uh, I mean, I napped. Who doesn't... I challenge everyone. Who doesn't love a good nap? I was seeing answers to your question before I heard the question. I think you're funny. I'm incapable of napping. What the hell do you mean you're incapable of napping? Explain yourself, Blitz Girl. Napping is. Fuck! Napping is quintessential to life. You. How are you incapable? You just. Close your eyes and go to bed. How are you. In what? Incapable of napping? <sighs> Batman. We've been through a lot. I feel like. You and I are at a level where we can be honest with each other. Um, the fact that you can't jump to a fucking platform is dumb. Get your head out of your ass, Batman. Anyway. Fucking... Batman, I'm not impressed with you right now. It takes me forever to fall asleep. Yeah, but... Batman, you gotta fucking go, man. This is a secrets episode. I'm fucking up secrets. I'm just trying to solve Riddler shit. Batman. Mm. It takes you forever to fall asleep. I honestly don't know what to say to that. That's ridiculous. Ever to fall asleep? I don't even know what that means. It's falling asleep. Don't. I trained myself to power nap. I found the key was to block out external noise with music. Pick a position. And cover my eyes and not move. Even if I'm exhausted, I'll go to bed and won't fall asleep until hours later. It sucks and no medicine helps. It makes it hard to wake up in the mornings. I I I honestly don't know what to say to that that sounds awful 
I'm sorry. That sounds awful. I napped today. It was great. Napping's amazing. No! Fuck. Batman. Batman trained for 20 fucking years. World's greatest detective. Incapable of simple physical abilities. That is what I have to say to that. Oh, there's a whole conversation now occurring around napping. And I frankly love it. Continue. If you're watching and you have any opinions on napping, please tune in now. Create an account. Name it. I don't know. I don't know who's watching. I have friends who are watching. Maybe one of you is called... I don't know. You could call yourselves... Deck 567. Just a random word. Not really... I'm just people who can go to sleep. Platforming is... What? Platforming is the worst. Oh, you're commenting about what I'm doing. I was like, what the hell does platforming have to do with napping? I get it. It was it was the first game. It's like, um... I, I compare this game's controls to that of Uncharted. I love Uncharted. Uncharted, great fucking series. Oh, wait. Harley Quinn. My skin crawled with revulsion as she kissed the glass, fighting the urge to dash the woman's head to the glass and let her continue. A damnable clown might have shared secrets with her that will be useful once the mad dog has been executed. Joker. about Harley Quinn and uh, Joker. Am I done here then? Ho ho ho! Ho Riddler! You in deep poodoo this time! Tea? What kind of tea you making? What the fuck? No! Oh. Oh, okay. Go slow. Ooh. Okay. Run, Batman! Before the game crashes again! I'm going, Brent. Don't you worry. Ain't nobody gonna stop us. Are you guys still alive? I had a dream I was fighting. Yeah, I beat you the fuck up. Yeah. I beat you the fuck up. I mean, yeah, no, it was a dream. Don't worry about it.
Games are great. Botanical Gardens! Done! This is great. I love this game. Have I ever mentioned? I love the Arkham games. Arkham Knight's my favorite. They only get better. I don't care what anyone says. Fight me! Be like, no, man! Arkham Z! Oh, no, man! The Batmobile in Arkham Knight was dumb! Sure. Whatever. Clearly you didn't get the story. Fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. Have a good night, A-Bop. 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 Fuck off. No one cares. Hi! Remember that time you were dumb? I do. I remember it completely. You see me? Oh, here he comes! I broke your fucking neck! Thunk! Okay. Is the game playing nice music? LOL. Can you. Seriously, can you hear the game? I, crank, I I turned the, the game up. It should be decent. I hope it is. Otherwise, yeah, like, I hope... I hope it is. It's very quiet. The game is still very quiet. Fucking hell. I am definitely more concerned about me, but... Because when I'm out on the island, yeah, there's good music. I mean, play the game? I love the game, and I'd highly recommend you play it. It's good controls, good story, all that jazz, so. See how that is. If it's very quiet, I imagine me turning it up to double what it was isn't exactly gonna. Fuck you! Bruce, get your shit together. Face. Um, oh, you know what? I feel like a shitty person. I thought you were quiet and the game was perfect. Like, if you had been a little bit louder, perfect. Because in my mind, a good stream is I can understand the game. And then, when someone's talking over it, I can understand both. But an emphasis on the streamer. So, I would say if you could turn your audio up, that'd be the only thing. Mm. Yeah, that was the issue I found with capture cards was there's that level where you're just I, I wish I could use like I'm playing PlayStation right now and I wish I could use my gold headset because then I'm not relying on the TV audio to hear what's going on but it just doesn't really allow for it um so take a look at um the mic I use is the Yeti, which, like, professional streamers are going to be like, the Yeti's shit! 
oh, it's such garbage. But for a start off, it's fine. And it's actually really reasonably priced. I got my Yeti mic for like 170 I think. And it was easy for me because I split it with uh, Sean, who I started the channel with. And then when he bought his own mic, he just I just sent him the other half later on, so really it was two it was two payments. But take a look at Yeti mics, I really like them. A chat link splitter. Okay. I'm not I'm not familiar with that. When I built my PC, I made a point to uh, buy a capture card, but I got the money for my PC through selling personal stuff in my company and all that, so. Scarecrow! Yeah. It sucks. There's a rough thing there. A Bop is not following me. No more. I'll text people later. I have two viewers. One of you is talking, the other one isn't. So. I think Scarecrow as a villain. I don't know if I ever talked about it. I think he's an interesting dynamic. I like him. It's just the fact that, like. Fear is. Yeah. Powerful motivator. Even if people say, like, well, no, it doesn't motivate you to like, live your life. Sure. But. Yeah. A strange transfer occurred. I wonder who it could be referring to. That was easy. Let's go! We. Yeah! Absolutely! Let's agree on that, you absolute fucking numpty. Fool's getting fab as a psychiatrist who's glad that he'd fully analyzed the Dark Knight from afar. Professor Hugo Strange lent credence to his own claims by deducing Batman's true identity as Bruce Wayne. However, his interest in the Batman turned into a deranged obsession, and he's used his medical expertise to hatch a series of bizarre plots based around genetics and mind control in order to defeat the Batman and possibly take his place. Strange's fragile mental state has left him with intermittent knowledge of Batman's true identity, a fact that hangs over Bruce Wayne's head. For if Strange ever snaps completely, Batman's greatest secret might be revealed. Never noticed that it ends in a dot 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 before. Interesting. Interesting for many reasons, Winky Face. If you've never played the game, you won't get that. Yeah, riddle me this, douchebag. Who solved all your fucking riddles? Me. That's who. I'm gonna solve them all. And then I'm gonna capture you. 
Then I'm going to go to Joker. And surely he'll be the easiest to catch because he's orchestrated this whole thing. Hi, Cash. Let's talk to you. What? Why don't you like fireworks? I've always said one of my favorite things is Funny how Batman looked at the camera. What do you mean? When? When did he look at the camera? Um, one of my favorite things in movies, I guess, and I guess video games and TV shows, is uh, background conversations. Oh. Yeah, he looks back. It's weird. Um, but, um, one of the things I've always kind of liked is, uh, the background conversations. So the best example I have for that is, um, Game of Thrones. And it's just, it had to have happened at least once. But it's the, the aspect of everyone went to dinner all of the Sa all of the starks i almost said all of the sansas all of the sansas all of the starks made it back to winterfell john arya all of them there had to have been a meal where they discussed what happened to them all? And it must have broken down into, like, a contest. Of just... Who had the worst fate? And I imagine, like, imagine a dinner table, and you have John, Sansa, Arya, and Bran. All, on, all around the dinner table and all they do is discuss the, like what happened. Because they all separated after season, like the third episode of season one. So I always like to think about that and it's just the aspect of um, like it would, it would start with yeah, all the kiddos. And it's just like, oh, I died. I I joined the Night's Watch, and I was stabbed to death by the very people I swore to protect. They betrayed me and stabbed me. I I died, and I was brought back with the purpose of saving the world. I will never forget the feeling of being murdered. Sansa, what, what happened to you? I was raped by multiple people. Just all of the people raped me. I just non -stop. I watched our father be beheaded. I was there. I I had to watch it. And then I was raped again. I was raped again.
It was awful. The rape. Aria, what happened to you? I was escorted out of King's Landing um, by the Night's Watch. I was actually headed back to Winterfell. We were ambushed. And I escaped with friends I made. And I ended up being captured. I became Lord Tywin's servant. After all of that... Oh, sorry. I'll read this now. Alfred Bennyworth, after a varied career, was employed as the Wayne family's butler when Bruce Wayne's parents were killed. Alfred ra raised the young orphan and reluctantly aided him in his quest to become the Batman. His many skills, ranging from cooking to medicine, make him Batman's staunchest ally. Along with a formal demeanor with, that grounds the Dark Knight and deflects those who might otherwise suspect Bruce Wayne's true identity. Um. Anyway. Uh. After that, I watched Rob be murdered and shortly after that that's when uh, that's when uh, I went to Bravos I went blind I couldn't see and had the shit beaten out of me All the time. And then I went blind. Just went blind. Drank, drank some milk. Went blind. And then I learned that I was just absolutely nothing to everyone. It didn't matter who I was, who birthed me. It didn't matter. Nothing matters. Life is useless and meaningless. Bran? What happened to you? Well, no. We don't want to know what happened to you. You're weird now. You're very, very, very fucking weird now. But don't you want to know? No. No. No, we don't. You're weird now. You're... We knew you became a cripple, but now you're just weird. Why? Whatever has made you so fucking weird, we don't want to know. Yeah. The thing that happened to Bran was weird. Just weird. phone game. Weird. Bran is weird. God, he's weird. Whoa, calm the fuck down, Riddler. Or Edward. Oh, so I just remembered. Don't all poor Bran. He got the best deal of everyone at the end. So... I don't even give a shit. He became king! Bran became king! That was a bad season. The last season of Game of Thrones was bad. I didn't mind it. It was just bad. 
it is comparably similar to Rise of Skywalker. Oh no! I'm gonna beat this game tonight. Who's gonna beat this game tonight? I'm gonna beat this game tonight. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that shit? I solved that riddle, didn't I? I don't give a shit. Okay. Uh. Do this. Do this. Go up. Wait, what? Oh, that's the morgue. Right. I am I am correct, yes. There is something in here. Right? Yes. Okay, good. I was like, wait a second. It's in there. Oh, the metal facility was the worst place in the world. This is where I might find it's the first boss. Then you can't come back and do much later on in the game. When you go back, you gotta find everyone. Through. Fuck. This. Harley! Harley, what's he doing here? Here we go. Wow. Good opinion. I would agree. I mean, apparently George R. R. Martin helped write the last season, but you're right. They had nothing to draw off of. The seasons after the books, yeah, they kind of, they didn't, they didn't go well. Oh. My. Gosh. Is that a riddle? Okay. Remember that time Bane was here? And I beat the hell out of them. Because I'm Batman. Rachel! Oh, Rachel! Batman got a sweet gig. He quit being Batman and went to Paris. Became a bajillionaire in Europe. Europe's a hard place to be a bajillionaire. America? Eh, kind of easy. But Europe? Whew! Not an easy thing to do in old Hurup. Not easy at all. Ah, oh, I forget which game it is, but they introduced sliding. I think it's City. Is it City? They introduced sliding? It doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. Secrets, can't you zero? This is fun for everyone. Are you going to take your hat off to Harley? I solved it. Did I hit that and it go out, out of? It was obscured. Is that what happened? Jesus. There. Happy. 
It is, isn't it? Jesus Christ. What? Oh, I haven't gone through. I'm like, no, this place is done. No, I, I've just gotten the first area. Huh. Elevator. Love in an elevator. Batman in an elevator. Can't you see? Batman in an elevator. Batman in an elevator. Can't you see? Nope, I missed it. Now I never. Oh, hang on. Oh, man. Rise of Skywalker. I agree. Fun movie. I enjoyed it. It was. It was fun. Honestly. Can't complain. Honestly, cannot complain. Well, sorry. That's a dumb statement. I can complain. And I plan on complaining. Um. Fun movie. Bad ending. Awful. And it's advertised as like, this is the end of nine movies. The original trilogy the prequel trilogy and now the sequel trilogy it's the ending the culmination and i'm like it's garbage is what it is um i expected more honestly i did i wanted more from it um big stars fan but ugh. I I loved The Last Jedi. I often say, I think Last Jedi is up there with Empire Strikes Back. And everyone hates it, but like, at the end of the day, I have to say, I think it boils down to Ryan Johnson tried to do something different. He... You can easily compare it to Empire, but he he tried something different. Yoda gave up, and he went to Dagobah because he was like, I gotta hide. Luke didn't give up because of a failure to destroy evil. Luke gave up because he made a bad choice. Which, in my opinion, Kylo Ren is a dynamic villain. Sidious was evil for the sake of being evil. At the end of the day, Sidious wasn't evil because he wanted to be. He was evil because he was evil? Which, why? Why was he evil? Oh, no reason. He just hated people. Mm, okay. I don't really agree with that. But Hermit Luke, you're absolutely right. He was dynamic. He was, like, he made a bad decision. And it haunted him. To the point where he said, he's like, I, I'm a failure. I'm going to give up. I don't know about his redemption. I don't know. But, I don't want to talk about, like, spoilers. But, I think R Rise of Skywalker was good. I mean... End of the day, if you compared it to some of the other just shit that came out, I'm looking at you, Clone Wars. Yeah. 
They're all better than Clone Wars. Even Phantom Menace wasn't entirely awful. I'm missing teeth? Where am I missing teeth? Oh, fuck, I'm missing teeth! Is it in here? Shit, I'm missing teeth! Shit. It's gonna be like one tooth, too. It's gonna be awful. <gasps> it is! I heard it. Where? No, it's not. I'm amazing. Um. Hmm. <sighs> you cannot say a movie was good. Um. Oh, God. Uh, a movie wasn't that bad as long as you cut out 99% of it. I, I agree the Obi-Wan was good. But, like, when you have to cut out 99% of a movie to make it a good movie, it's no longer a good movie. Sorry. It's just just one man's opinion. A pigeon. A pigeon. And actually, I don't even know if that was the best part. I guess it was. Django Fett was the best part of Clone Wars. Okay. All allowed. But. I'm almost done. Oh, I'm almost done. I just gotta do this building, island, and then ending. Who boy. Is it all there? No, there's one there. Okay. So, okay. I got this. Easy peasy. Remember that time that I solved all the riddles, then I beat the game, and I moved on to control. Uh, yeah. Well, hey there. I, I do declare that I'm going to go through. Look at me. Arkham. Uh, I recently watched episode one with, uh, Hey, Buck. And, uh, oh. We spent a majority of the time just bad mouthing it. In a fun way, too. I. 
I look forward to watching episode two. We noticed some stuff in the background. Yeah. Episode one is enjoyably cohesive. Cohesive. Absolutely. No argument from me on that. Oh, no. I think I gotta do the island and then come back here. Shit. Do I? I might need to come back. Which would suck. Suck balls. But if I have to, I have to. Oh, I thought Revenge of the Sith was the best of them. Honestly, I, I truly do. I think... Of the prequel trilogy, Revenge is the best of them. It was... I, I, I honestly don't know. You could. Um, you'd be wrong. But we could. Remember that time I went over the gas? You thought you were smarter than me. But you weren't, were you? Take too long to figure out. Good work, Batman. You're my bestest friend. How'd you do it? I'm better than you. A dark reflection of Batman. Prometheus was raised by criminals who were gunned down by policemen right in front of him. Dedicating his life to destroying the law. Prometheus traveled the world and trained in the ways of murder. Clad in an armored suit that maximizes his natural skills, he's a master assassin whose physical and mental abilities rival Batman's his own. I've actually never seen Prometheus... ever. Ever. Hey guys! Remember that time I blew up this wall and you were all like, what? And I was like, yeah. That's what happens. Yes. But who is he? It is. It is. I also need to stop going, huh? Every time I need to read something. Prometheus is an odd villain's name. You're absolutely right. But... I've never s seen him in comics. I'm not your friend, chum. So, who does everyone think he is? Shit. Oh, worked out. I'm losing patience. Cheating. 
Apartment 1511, 2211, Hey Riddler! I know where you is! Oh Riddler. You ask dumb questions. Then you wonder why you'd get defeated. Because you're dumb. You're a dummy. You're a big dumb dumb face. You're poopy. Poopy. Oh man. I got I gotta tell you this story. So a uh, couple days it would have been the twentieth. On the twentieth of December. My brother was getting married on the 21st, and he came over on the 20th. And, well, yeah, that makes sense. Prometheus thinks he's bringing fire to the people. He thinks he's saving them. But he's doing bad. Um, just... All villains are right in their own mindset. So on the 20th, my brother came over. We ordered pizza. We hung out before his wedding. Brought me... A beautiful bottle of scotch and a beautiful card with a beautiful tumbler. It was all in all beautiful. Um. Anyway, hang on. Yeah, what's up? Batman. Wait a minute. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to beat the shit out of all of you. So give me a minute. Um, he came over. Uh... In the past, we've watched Simpsons on Disney+. Plus. No big deal. But this time, we were like, oh, you know what? I wanted to introduce him to something new. So I showed him Rick and Morty. Holy crap. We watched one of the new season's episodes. He liked it. He was like, oh, this is funny. I dig it. Let's watch more. So. What? You did it? You must have cheated. There is no way you could have beaten me. Well, destroyed Batman. My final challenge for the whole of Gotham is just seconds away. What? Seconds? The police? You couldn't have outsmarted me. Riddler's done. I'm ready to beat the game. But first, a bathroom break. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Competent. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.